better and we're absolutely new Bell Nation. As you can see since the last time we met, we've not won a game in the league unfortunately. We've played some really good teams in here. We should have beat both Blackburn and Bristol City as we dominated possession but couldn't convert the chances unfortunately. We were also being knocked out of the, the Carabao Cup on penalties to Stoke as we lost on sudden death but we did beat Rochdale in the first round. We've got Wigan today so hopefully we can get three points from them as they are sitting 21st in the league. This game we've got Luton who are sitting 19th currently hopefully we can pick up six points from the next two games. Jackson Irvine has picked up an injury since we last met but he's been passed the fitness test but I don't think we'll don't think we'll risk him today. This is a team that we're going to go for today. Samuelson has impressed me since since we last met. He's been playing really well, so I'm giving him a chance today. As has Malik Wilkes. He's been playing quite well and scoring a couple of goals in the process. So we've dropped Norbert Ballog to the bench and James Scott for the game today. With Heavy Kane has been brought in to cover Jackson Irvine's injury. Now he's back from his knock that he picked up. Other than that, everything is staying roughly the same at the moment. So let's get into this. That looks a very deep formation that we're going to play with the big gap here, which hopefully we can exploit today. We may have to look at that if, depending on how the game goes back. It's a big gap to leave in the central of midfield there. Let's try and pass it. Put some. Yeah, I've got faith in them again. It's not having a little bit of effect. Not a great deal. And here we are. We begin. We are currently first highlight of the game goes to Wigan with a corner. Hopefully we can clear this. And they've hit the post early on and the defence scramble to get it away, but it still ends up with Wigan trying to trying to launch but they've dispossessed Wigan but they've got it back again. But Wilkes picks up the loose ball. Stewart into Lopez. Gives it to Device who plays it safely back to, to Long. Feeds it into the defence. Alan Hutton on the overlap. Max Madison with a great ball from Alec Wilkes with a tame effort. Unfortunately, doesn't really test the keeper. Not sure what this highlight is here. That the what just happened? I have no idea what that was about. Corner for us. Cleared away. Samuelson picks up the ball. It's can he do anything with it? Feeds it back to Madison. What can he do with it? Cuts inside. There it go. It's, it's bounced straight back off Samuelson. But we've still got the ball, but Lopez loses it. Device looking. Samuelson hits the post. Oh, it's gone just wide after bouncing back off the keeper. Madison with another corner here. What can he do with it? Samuelson. Device picks up. And we're going to launch the counter attack. We need to clear the lines. Well played by Callum Elder there to clear the lines. Hopefully we can Wigan now with a good cross. It's met Oof, and it's gone off the crossbar. It's gone off the crossbar. Wigan knocking at the door here. They've had, but we're having the better chance. We've had the more chances, but Wigan look a little bit more dangerous than what we do. And on the on the attack again, Wigan here they come, but well played by Callum Elder to clear the ball. A lovely ball, to, switch ball to Marcus Madison. Brings it forward, but he loses it. But he wins it back again with a great ball through to Malik Wilkes. What can he do with it? It's the defender. It's got the ball cleared by Wigan. We are dominating them. But we just can't seem to make anything go in. Elder, can he get a good cross in? Plays it to De Silva. In Samuelson, who loses the ball again. And Wigan launch the counter attack once again. Need to, need to be clever here. They skip past two defenders. They cut it back. George Long with a great save. Get rid of it. Ooh, viewers, it's not looking good there. We have, looks very shaky there. Very, very shaky. Give them, tell them to concentrate. And Max Madison looks overwhelmed. Brilliant. Alan Hutton with a throw in. Feeds it, gives it to Malik Wilkes. Feeds it back to Hutton. Into Kane. Back to Hutton. Stewart. Hutton again. Plays it back to the keeper. Feeds it. Back. Into Madison. What can he do with it? Bring, bring him forward. He's had a go and it's gone well wide. Well wide by Marcus Madison. 
just don't seem to be able to create something in that final third today, which is disappointing. Owen Hutton sh shields the ball safely to the goalkeeper, clears it into the defence, and back out again. Just we don't seem to be able to get the ball into the final third and do something with it. Here comes Kane now. Martin Samuelson heads it to Kit Wilkes. No, keeper saved it again, but it's gone out for a corner. Gone out for a corner. Madison with the ball in. Can we do anything with it? Nope. Cleared well. Cleared easily by Wigan. No highlights to know at the moment. Here we are at half time. Dominating possession. We've had 61%. We've put only four shots on target. And we've done absolutely nothing with it. A little bit assertive with them maybe. Tell them we are looking for them to make the difference. Will they take any notice of me? Who knows. Here we are then at the start of the second half. Alan Hutton going to Wilkes. Wins the ball back. But no one's there again. Elder. What can he do with it? Goes to the byline. Madison. He's, he's fouled. It's a penalty. It's a penalty to the whole city. Max Madison steps up. Can he score? Come on. Please score. Please. Max Madison. He steps up. Oh, and it's gone in. It's scored. He made that look easy for his second goal of the season. Made that look absolutely easy. Here we see it in the replay. Quite close to the keeper, but who... Somehow doesn't get there, but I'm not going to complain. We are now 1 0 up and we moved up to 9th, currently on 11 points. Not, not much is happening here. Just going through the game, going through the motions. Make a change. Keen Lewis Potter, he's been playing quite well recently, so we'll give him a chance off the bench in place of Samuelson, who's not done a great deal today, only on a 6.7. Madison with the corner. Kane's there to meet it, but I d I d I'm speechless. I don't know what's happened there, but Herbie Kane somehow ends up with the ball. I thought it was a Wigan free kick, the way that they stopped with it there. Complete mess up at the back, and Herbie Kane takes full advantage of it. So he has a shot, it goes off our striker, and then the three Wigan players do nothing with it. Herbie Kane, and then through the keeper's legs. 2 0, Hull City. Hopefully, you can just. See the game out now. We'll bring Tom Eves on because Malik Wilkes is looking complacent. Bring Tom Eves on, change him to a target man support. I, don't, I still can't believe that second goal. It's unbelievable. No more highlights to note at the moment. Make, make the final change. We'll bring Tappers early on. For, we'll bring him on for Burke. Just to. Just to run the clock down. Hutton with the throw in. Eves. Is he? Have we got another penalty there? We do. Another penalty. Up steps Madison. Can he get a brace? He can. Same corner. Bottom corner. Nestled neatly away. 3 0 Hull City. What a second half this has been. What a penalty that is by. No keeper's got no chance of saving that in the bottom corner. Absolutely no chance. Two minutes to go. Again with a dangerous looking free kick oh, and it's hit the bar but we clear the ball. Clear the ball away. But we still got still got back in the area with it. What can they do? Well cleared away by Joy Device. Eves holds the ball up and just kicks it long. That's what we want to see. That's what we want. Hopefully see the game out. And there it is. We run out three nil winners. We've had twenty one shots and eleven on target. That is incredible. The Wigan seven. That is unbelievable. How we've only won there 3-0 and got two penalties, no idea, but I'm not going to complain. Marcus Madison, right at so with one of the match with a rating of 9. And, well, very pleased with them today. They look absolutely delighted with that, that's brilliant. Hopefully we can carry this on into the next game against Luton. I'll leave it there for now and you'll join me back again for the Luton game in a minute. And you join me back again for our away game against Luton. Hopefully again we can build on the positive result against Wigan that we had and create a lot of chances and put them away, which seems to be our problem in when we were playing offline, so hopefully we can take full advantage today. 
I'm going to drop Mallet Wilts today. I don't think he had the best game last game. We'll bring Norbert Ballard back in. Same with Samuelson. We'll, I think we'll bring Scott back in, in there. Other than that, I think we're going to remain unchanged today. We'll bring, we'll bring McLaughlin onto the bench as well instead of Tapazoli because he just gives us that little bit of more depth and options to bring in a left back and a centre back on the bench. And we'll also bring on Josh McGuinness onto the bench. We can see further improvement today in this team. So Luton are lining up in the same formation as us, so it'll be interesting to see how they how we cope with it com compared to that big gap that Wigan left in the middle. So, and here we are, first game started. Four minutes in, nothing. We've had one shot and one on target, but no no highlights as of yet in the in the game. Here we are, first highlight comes to us in the tenth minute. Elder Thorin is headed away, but it's we retain the ball. Stewart in the centre with a great ball through to Kane. Wide to Hutton. A, a, good, a lovely ball to Madison. And there we go. Sonny Bradley is given a penalty away. Ten minute, 11 minutes in. Can Marcus Madison convert this? His third penalty in two games. Can he convert it? And he does. That's a great penalty again. Wonderful start to the game. I'm very pleased with that. Let's watch the replay. Bottom corner again, lovely. Keeper's got no chance. So that's his fourth goal of the season. Just nothing's happening again. It's just no highlights to note at the moment. We're just just playing through. Just nothing. There we go. Thirty minutes. Balog feeds it back to Hudson. Who's picked up a book him. Good ball by Hudson again into Madison. Cuts back inside. Oh, and it's it's almost gone in, but it's a great save by the keeper to stop that. Alan Hudson and Marcus Madison playing so well down that right-hand side. That, that ball, the overlapping ball by... And Luton on the attack here. What can they do with it? Can, can we shield them out? Hudson... Cleared it away. But they've still got the ball, but well done by Elder, who's just booted the ball up to midfield. Madison is brought down. Will there be a booking or a card here? Anything? Gonna happen? It, referee's thinking about it. Oh, and he's sent off. He's, he's been sent off in the 36th minute. Hopefully, we can use that to our advantage going further in the game now. Coming up to half time. And. Luton will have to totally rethink their game plan after Kai Naismith was sent off. Second half is underway. Hopefully we can take full advantage of the 10 men of Luton. It's not the first game this season that we've seen corner to, corner to us. Madison, what can he do with it? Balog's there to meet it and it's just gone over. It's gone over. Balog was there to meet it. Good corner by Marcus Madison again. An hour, the hour mark has come and gone. Again, no, no real highlights this second half. There we came. Madison with a dangerous looking free kick on the edge of the area. Oh, I thought I was going in. He's just put it over. You know, all the highlights are coming to us now. Elder, what can he do with it? Into De Silva with a lovely ball, with a great ball that was headed away. Who's made a mistake? The keeper's come for it, and Norbert Balog has mopped it up and taken full advantage. Luwalua with, who knows what he was thinking there, with a dangerous, dangerous ball there. I mean, you just look at all the players that there's two players around him. He's played a stupid ball. The keeper's come, tripped over, it, and Norbert Balog has taken full advantage of it to make it two 0 to Hull City after 72 minutes. Here we go, another another highlight to us. Hutton, Balog, Madison. Back out to Hutton. Can he get another ball? And he can. Scott's there and it's 3 0. It's 3 0. James Scott with the header. Great cross by Alan Hutton to make it 3 0. There's a little bit of pin, pinball here with the from to, in the build up. But Alan Hutton with a lovely cross. And James Scott just beats his defender and gets, and gets there and scores his second of the season. Just make a few changes to save the legs now. 
we'll bring Madison off. He's he's played really well today. I don't know. And we'll bring McGuinness on for Balog. Unbelievable second half. We played so well today again. Very happy so far. But Luton here on the attack. What can they do with it? Well, not a lot if that's how it's going to go. Goal kick to us. Just unbelievable. 90, 22 shots we've had on target. It's just gone up to. Corner to Luton. Well held by, by Long. Well held. What can he do with it? Kicks it out to Lewis Potter. Feeds it across to Scott. Gives it to Abby Kane. What can he do with it? Looks for a hopeful ball to Elder, but it's caught us out. It's caught us out, but I think we've just about regrouped from that. McManaman. Luton still on the attack here. Are we gonna get what we're we gonna do? Good cross. Oh, and it's three one. It's three one. Four ball in the four ball really set that up in the centre of midfield looking to switch the play. Never we'd recovered from it shape, but there was just no picking up of Bree there to when he gave when he get put his cross in. Great goal. Eighty two minutes. Device with the free kick. Headed away by Carter Vickers. Now Luton launched the counter attack. Can we clear the lines? We can. James Scott's picked up the ball. Josh McGinnis, what can he do with it? He's hit it straight at the keeper. Straight at the keeper. But we've, we've picked up a corner from it. Device with the corner, what can he do? Kane on the edge of the area. Feeds it to McGinnis. Stewart just playing with it around on the edge of the area. And it's come to knock in the highlight. Throw in. Lewis Potter with a cross. Scott can't get there. De Silva Lopez. Into Scott. Elder. What can you do with it? Back to De Silva Lopez. To Kane. Oh my word. Herbie Kane. From outside the area. He's hit a wonderful goal there. What a strike to make it 4-1. We were just playing with it on the edge of the area. Not really doing a lot. As Luton had got the line sorted. But Herbie Kane just unleashes... A great shot from outside the area, and it's gone in. It's flown in. Wonderful, and this that moves us back up to sixth position at the moment. Well, that was that was great. That was unbelievable. Two games, two wins. Just a great. Very happy with that. Very very happy. Very pleased with the performance, and everyone looks delighted. What we'll do is we'll end the episode there for today. We'll join me back for the Derby, Derby at home and Fulham games. They'll be the next games that we cover. Play these, get the rest of the games offline. If you do enjoy what I'm doing here at the moment, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It's really appreciated and I will see you next time.